I bought the Ambernick Win 600 a month or two ago just because I thought it would make a really good Xbox handheld. With a little piece of softer, it made this little engine that couldn't, could. Well, obviously we all know that Windows on a handheld doesn't really give you that console-like experience, and that's where SteamOS comes into play. And I'm just a little curious how SteamOS runs on the Ambernick Win 600. When I first installed Bazite on the Win 600, which is a Steam-like OS, I was rather surprised. Surprised that all well, the physical controls seem to work. And the home button brings up the Steam menu. The Windows key brings up the quick settings. The only button that didn't seem to work was the physical keyboard button that's on the right side of the hand. <laughs> I had to check that. At least not for the physical keyboard, but we'll get back into that later. For those of you looking for a tutorial on installing Bazite on the Ambernick Win 600, that will be at the end of this video. Now, unfortunately, gaming performance out the gate was very poor. As you've seen, games like Doom ran really poorly, and some games like Dead Space didn't even run at all. Well, I tried to get Dead Space running on here, and it's been hung up on the screen for hours I'd like to say it's been at least three or four hours but I think that's more compatibility than the handheld itself just like Windows there is a plugin to boost the performance that plugin is called simple decky TDP but for some reason the performance seemed to worsen I get it to work for a little while. In order to try to fix this plugin and make it function the way it's supposed to, I hit the internet, but for some reason I couldn't find anything that was able to fix it. But I did come across a post that said that there was a built-in plugin handheld demon. The handheld demon can be brought up by hitting that physical keyboard button twice. You press it. Why is it bringing up the quick? This thing doesn't know what the it wants to do. And if you select performance, you can get just a little bit more juice out of the Win 600. So the sad part about handheld demon is that there's no precise control over the TDP. The plugin just sets it to some standard pre-configured TDP settings, which I don't even know what it is. If anybody knows why simple decky TDP is not working for me, or if they know of a fix, please leave those in the comments down below. We are definitely not done yet. Do you really think we'll find this lost city? I know it's a long shot, 
Well, the performance isn't great, but it's playable. I am curious, though, how the game might perform better if I upgrade the RAM to 16 gigs. Uh, so we did get a few more FPS. I do want to note that I also reinstalled Bazite and Simple Decky TDP, and Simple Decky TDP seemed to work this time. Well, that's kind of weird. The FPS counter seems to be up there, but we're still getting some stuttering and graphical issues. Now, they did state in Steam that this game does have some graphical issues on the Steam Deck, but I wasn't experiencing that on the Steam Deck. <sighs> I decided to go back to Windows on the Win 600 because I didn't test these two games originally on Windows and I wanted to see how the performance was. Keeps doing that, but let's up this. For those of you looking for a tutorial on how to install Bazite on the Ambernick Win 600, here you go. Head over to the Bazite website, click download located at the top right of the website. Choose other handheld PC from the What Hardware dropdown. Choose KDE for the Steam-like environment and then click download. Now open an image burner like Etcher link below flash from file choose the bazite image select target choose your usb stick and click flash now plug the usb drive into your ambernick win 600 hold the volume down and the power button simultaneously on the boot menu select your usb drive select your language then click installation location select the win 600 drive reclaim space and then delete all now click done you can create a user account at this point but i didn't just click install and when the install is finished click reboot personally 
I would leave Windows on the Ambernic Win 600 only because it's a very low spec handheld compared to other handhelds on the market. And Windows just seems to run a little better than Bazite, which is gonna be no mystery to anybody. In Bazite, the FPS is kind of really sporadic. Where Windows, it kind of stays in a small margin and performance is just a little more consistent across the board. It would just be kind of nice if Microsoft finally gives us a console-like experience for these handhelds. I've been messing around with Botticera on the Win 600 for emulation, and honestly, the performance is pretty good. There will be a video on that in the future, so if you're interested, you know what to do. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.